Oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> Hi, how you guys doing? Um, first of all, we want to welcome all of you to our home tonight. Um, thank you for coming. We appreciate you being here. Um, we hope to show you tonight some amazing things about water and the effects on the body. How many people are seeing us for the first time tonight? Okay, okay, all right. Well, you're by far the most important people in the room. So, um, you know, you were brought here by somebody who cares about you, and, and um, we, we hope to show you why. So. Um, I was first introduced to this water just a little bit over two years ago. Um, I was not introduced in the way you were tonight. I was just simply told about it, and, and obviously the, the defense mechanisms went up of, you know, water is just water, and I, I wasn't really trying to see it. Um, didn't really want what I was hearing about it to be real, but then when I, when I put the water in my body and um, naturally things started to happen, it was, uh, was life-changing for me. And, um, what you're going to see tonight is um, we show about four or five different aspects of the water that are, that are um, extremely visual and uh, very hard to deny. And hopefully we just um, can take a little time and educate you and give you some good information. So we have Steve Beaumont here tonight. Mm -hmm. um, Steve and I have done many, many of these. This house is open every other Wednesday to any and all of you. We ask you to bring people to show them. And we simply just want the opportunity to educate people. So Steve Beaumont. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dan. And again, thank you, Dan, for opening your home every week to do this. And to all of you that are joining us tonight, this is your event, so you're welcome to bring people here anytime to see this because what we're going to share with you tonight is simply powerful. And that's why I'm so excited to be here tonight and why I'm so grateful to be here tonight because the information we're going to share with you is life-changing. There's no doubt about that. Everyone that's been that's in this room, that's invited someone to be here tonight, let me see your hands. Who has had a remarkable change in some area of their life as a result of what we're going to share with you tonight? Everyone that's here. And the reality is, is it's not just us. There's a ripple effect that you don't see because we're going to share this with someone that we care about. And then we don't even know the extent to how far that's going to go, how many people that's going to be shared with. So it's like throwing a rock into a pond and you don't see how far out those ripples go. And we're sharing this on a global scale. We're doing this in close to 200 countries now. And some of the most remote places around the world are seeing this and they're getting it. Because what we're sharing with you tonight is so powerful and it's so important. It's actually the simplest thing you can do to take control of your overall health. We're not going to stand here and make medical claims tonight. We're not going to attempt to treat, diagnose, or cure anything for you. But we are going to give you some clues. We're going to give you some clues to some simple things that you can do that, that will have a lasting and dramatic impact on your health and those around you. Sound fair enough? Yep. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So we're going to get started here. What we're going to share with you tonight is no, it's nothing new. This has actually been around since the 1970s, in fact. The company we're talking about, Enagic, is who produces this technology that we're going to share with you tonight. And just to give you a little bit of background, they started, they started their business in about 1974, mm -hmm. and today we're operating in close to 200 countries. We have over 40 offices around the world, and we're just renowned for what we do. The technology itself is unparalleled. If you go on the internet and you find something out there that tells you that it does the same thing as this but cheaper, they're lying to you because our technology has all of these awards and certifications. For example, the ISO, the Water Quality Association has given us the gold seal. Every product made by our company, manufactured in our plant in Osaka, Japan, is done on, under one roof, under Japanese government guidelines. So we have the highest level of quality control possible. And also the NSF and the ANSI has certified this, so that's why we're having such great success in the rent, restaurant and food service industries. And we're going to share more about that with you later on this evening as well. Our founder and chairman, Mr. Oshiro, very compassionate, empathetic individual. We're, we're proud to be his messengers and to share this message with the world. And we're just following behind him. He paved the way for us and he leads with compassion and he believes in this philosophy of helping people, of changing lives, one family at a time, and that's what we're doing here. So what's all this have to do with water? I'm sure if someone, a friend of yours invited you here tonight, they said you probably knew something of, of this had to do with water. So let's talk about that. Well, 
Water is very simply the most basic element of life. Everything happens in water. Every chemical reaction happens in water. In fact, our, our bodies are 75% water. So would it make sense that the most important aspect of our health is the water that's in our body? Would it make sense that we can control our overall health just by controlling 75% of our body? It just makes perfect sense. Yet we don't give it a second thought most of the time. We just go to the tap and fill up a glass and drink it, and we don't think about it. We're creatures of habit. We go to the store, we just buy a bottle because it's convenient. We don't think about it. We live in the land of we don't know what we don't know. Until you know, of course, and that's what we're here to do tonight, is to help you know so that now you know and you can actually make a change and you can see a difference in your health. So if you go to a place like Lourdes, France, it's known as a blue zone. They have this water that they call miracle water. And people that are very, very sick go to these remote places and they drink this water and they have miraculous changes. They have healing. And it's because of three very distinct properties that are found in this water that scientists have been studying for decades. And that's simply a presence of molecular hydrogen. It's a very antioxidant and it's very hydrating as well as having a healthy pH. And all we've done is recreate these properties through electrolysis. We don't have to be a scientist. We're not gonna get into the, the intricate de details of how this is performed, but very simply, very simply, we're gonna clean up the water that you're drinking. We're gonna take out all the chemicals that you don't want, leave the minerals that you do want that your body needs, the calcium, the magnesium. We're getting rid of all the bad stuff. And then we're gonna charge it with some electricity and that splits the water. So we actually create alkaline water and we create acidic water simultaneously. You drink the alkaline water that your body needs and you use the acidic waters for all kinds of different stuff that we're gonna to talk to you about in greater detail. So you don't need to know how this works. You don't need to know the science. You don't need to know about molecular hydrogen, but you do need to know that we're always making two different types of water at the same time, okay? This technology is very simple. It's very affordable and it's very easy to use and it actually will become the great, the most used appliance in your home, hands down by far. Again, show of hands, who owns this technology now? Who uses it more than anything else in your home? More even than your refrigerator. I'm gonna keep my hand up on that one. I'm gonna keep my hand up on that. So it's very powerful. So what's this have to do with our health? How are we doing in America in terms of health? It's not very good. Do we know of any d diseases or sicknesses that are on the decline right now? No. A single one. Cancer rates are through the roof. They're almost one in two. It's sad. The leading cause for death for kids under 14 is cancer. Heart disease is on the rise. Obesity. Childhood obesity. You name it, it's all on the rise. We're spending trillions of dollars. In fact, by the year 2020, we're projected to spend <coughs> over $4 trillion in a single year on healthcare in America. Now the reality to that is that 95% of that four trillion is sick care. It's after someone gets diabetes, after someone's diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis or cancer or worse or you name it. And then we're treating people after the fact, usually with medications. So we're, treat, we're doing things backwards in our health system. If you go to other cultures around the world, they do it the right way. They're focusing on prevention. The doctors are taking their time and listening to you and finding out what's really wrong rather than just a few minutes in a prescription and you're out the door. We'll see you back in another month to give you another prescription for the side effects that you're facing from the prescription we just wrote for you today. It's a very vicious cycle and that's what we're getting into. It's called allopathic medicine. It's the art of branding sickness or disease. And we're capitalizing out on America in a big, big way. Again, what's this have to do with water? Well. Our bodies are 75% water. We can control the overall health of our body much more effectively by the water that we're putting into it. And that's what this discussion tonight's about. We're gonna to talk about water. We're gonna talk about the different things that we put in our bodies, the different things we do in our lifestyles that contribute to the current state of our health. The water we're gonna share with you tonight that you're all drinking tonight, Kangen water. Kangen is simply a Japanese word that means return to origin which is what we're doing, is we're putting the body back to a state of balance. Like I said, we're not curing anything, we're not treating anything. We're simply giving the body its best chance to do what it does best, and that's heal and repair itself. 
you'll know that you can that your body is capable of healing all diseases healing and curing all diseases including cancer if it's supported properly the immune system the, the human body is an amazing thing yet we spend most of our time and energy putting bad things into it that are hindering our ability to heal and we don't even know it we think we may be doing something good for ourselves but in, in reality we're, we're doing the opposite so what's different about Kangen water from everything else from everything you see up here well, first of all, it's going to hydrate you better. It's extremely antioxidant, and it has a healthy pH for balance in the body. So we're going to start with, we're going to talk about hydration real quick, because that's why we drink water in the first place, is it not? To hydrate the body. Now, who drinks a gallon or more of water a day? Who has never been able to drink a gallon of water? Why? I just don't like it that much. You just don't like it? Do you ever feel... It doesn't want to go down. It doesn't want to go down, right? You almost feel full. It makes you feel sick or bloated. Yeah. And you can't really, you don't want to move or you don't want to eat. Kind of, kind of. I just don't like it. It hinders your appetite. So those are the two main reasons. That people don't like the taste or they feel full. Well, we're going to show with, share with you a way that you can drink water, get the water where it needs to be into your cells so that it can flush out toxins. This is a green tea bag. This is a very non-scientific demonstration that I'm going to share with you. All we're going to do is we're going to attempt to make green tea with room temperature water. In other words, what we're doing is simulating hydration at the, at the cellular level. Here I have some tap water, and I'm going to attempt to make green tea with this room temperature tap water. Now, I'm going to hold this up to the light here so you can see that. Do we see any tea in that glass? No. No tea, right? What do you normally have to do if you want to make tea? What do you have to do to the water? Boil it. You have to boil it. Why? So it'll penetrate the tea. Exactly. So it will penetrate the tea. Here I have some Kangen water, room temperature as well. And we're going to attempt to make green tea with the same tea bag. What happened? Did we make tea? No. Instantly. Okay. Because the, the water was able to penetrate the cells of those tea leaves, same way it's penetrating the cells of my body. Now, this is why professional athletes love this so much, is because they can drink as much of it as they want without feeling full or bloated, because the water's not sitting in their stomach. It's actually in their cells where it belongs. So we have the same tea bag, and we're going to try, let's try Voss this time, because it's expensive. So we're going to give the Voss a shot and see how well this hydrates you. Did we get any tea out of that? It's a little bit, it's a little bit murky, just, just from the, from the Kangen water. But no, we didn't get any tea from the Voss either. But yet we can come right back to the Kangen water, and we'll do this one more time. And I could do, I could do this all day with the same tea bag, and we instantly made green tea with that. You see that? See how much darker that is? Now let's take a look at the first one that we used with the tap water. You see just a tiny little bit of color in there, and we see a drastic difference here with the Kangen water. And the same thing with the Voss. You see a tiny little bit in there. But what if I added more water to this? Would it dilute it? Would it make it lighter or darker? Probably lighter. It would make it lighter, right? Yeah. But if I added Kangen water to it, what happens? Instead of diluting it, it made it darker. Hold it in front of the light. Um, because yeah. the, tea, the water was able to penetrate mm -hmm. the cells of, the, of those tea leaves the same exact way. So when you drink this water, this is why the first reaction that most people have is they say, wow, this tastes really good. But then the second thing they say is, I can feel the difference. I can drink it and it doesn't make me feel full or it doesn't make me feel sick. I actually feel hydrated. In fact, their bodies begin to crave it. So when you're working out, when you're running, you can drink this without having to worry about that sick, full feeling that you get, and that sloshing around in your stomach, and that's what makes this so powerful. Does this make sense? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so that's hydration at the cellular level, how you're able to get more water inside the cells of the body to flush out toxins, to flush out acidic waste, and of course your 
keeping the body clean. It's like changing the oil in your car every single day. <coughs> but let's talk about tap water just for a minute before we go any further. I do wanna share one thing with you and we're able to test for a lot of different chemicals that are present in our tap water. And a recent article in USA Today mentions that there's 270 known contaminants in our tap water, which by the way is federally mandated. So tap water has to be the same regardless of where you are in terms of chemical compound, in terms of pH, in of terms, and in terms of oxidation potential, which we're gonna talk about later. Here I have some chlorine indicator. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna turn the water yellow if there's a presence of chlorine. So I'm gonna put three drops in here of this chlorine indicator, and we can already see the water turning yellow, indicating a presence of chlorine for us. And it's gonna get darker and darker as we continue this. So keep your eyes on this throughout the night. You can see that yellow color. And we already know that Linwood has a ton of chlorine in their tap water. So just keep your eyes on this throughout the evening and we're gonna come back to that in a few minutes. Okay, so superior hydration, obviously more water into the cells is very important. The second property that makes this water so different from everything else is it's, it's a powerful selective antioxidant. Who can tell me what oxidation is? Rusting. It's rusting. It's the rusting process, the aging, the oxidation of our body. It begins as soon as we're born. You can't stop it. You can slow it down, but you can't stop it. In fact, oxidation is the starting point for all sickness. So the easiest way to reduce oxidation is through what? Antioxidants. antioxidants. You need to have a healthy antioxidant intake. In fact, the amount of antioxidants you maintain in your body is directly proportional to how long you live. It makes sense. We have a way that we can measure antioxidants in liquids, which we're gonna share with you tonight, and it's very powerful. It's called oxidation reduction potential. Let's say it backwards so that it makes a little bit more sense. We're talking about the potential to reduce oxidation. It's very simple. We have a meter that's able to measure whether or not these liquids are oxidizing or whether they're antioxidants. So we're gonna begin here and I'm gonna introduce each of these to you because each of these beverages is gonna represent a larger category of beverages tonight. For example, Sprite. That'll represent all of your sodas, all of your carbonated, your rock stars, your Red Bulls, your Sprites, your Diet Coke. And by the way, the darker the soda, the worse it is for you. Same with diet soda, because they're using a lot of different, art, uh, more artificial ingredients, okay? Well, here we have Propel. This will represent Gatorade, any of, the, any of the sports drinks that are out there. Arizona tea. Sobe Green Tea, Arnold Palmer. Tonight we're being classy, we're gonna use Perrier. And this will represent any of your sparkling waters, your Cascade Ice. What about Talking Rain? That's 10, 10 two liter bottles for $10, it's dirt cheap. And everybody's drinking it now and they have all kinds of different flavors. But Cascade Ice is the big one that, that people are selling, that they're selling a lot of right now. Tonight we're gonna to use Perrier. We're gonna use some, we're gonna check out the Sani. Dasani is the number one set up selling bottled water in America. This actually accounts for more than half of Coca-Cola's profits. And it is, in fact, tap water. Bottled and sold to you at up to a 50,000% markup. Tap water. In fact, they filtered it so well, they removed not only the chemicals, but they've also removed the minerals from here. I dare you to go buy a goldfish and see how long that goldfish lasts in Aquafina. Give it less than an hour. No, nothing life-sustaining in this. This water is as dead as it gets, and it's in a bisphenol plastic bottle. So the water that's in here is leaching that bisphenol, and we're drinking it. Here, tonight we're gonna use Costco water, because this one's really popular. You can get it out of the machine at Costco for a quarter a bottle. It's dirt cheap. But again, pl flimsy plastic bottle. In Costco, they do something interesting. They add ingredients to the water. There's purified water, potassium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate, calcium chloride, and magnesium oxide. Since when does our water have ingredients? Many people are buying the Essentia 9.5 and the other alkaline waters that are out there. Read the ingredients. They're adding baking soda and salt to your water. 
So we're going to test this one. Voss. Voss and Fiji are two, two of the most expensive waters on the market. Fiji and Voss are about $10 to $12 per gallon. If you drink that for over a period of 15 years, you're going to spend $96,000 or more over a period. Can you imagine that? hundred grand on water that doesn't even taste that great when it comes down to it? And then here we have tap water, which we've already talked about. And you can see the chlorine getting darker as it sits here. And then we have our Kangen water, which instantly made green tea because we know that it, it penetrates the cells faster. <clears throat> so we're going to check these and see where we are in terms of oxidation. If this meter reads a positive number, then it's oxidizing. It's causing rusting in our bodies. It's causing free radical damage. Okay. So let's start with top tap water. Before this is released from the water treatment plant, it's required to be at 600 millivolts or higher. Why would they want our tap water to be so oxidizing? Keep the pipes clean. Keep the pipes clean under the ground. That's one, and so that no organisms can survive in it. Let's think about that for a second. Tap water, no organisms can live in it. What are you and I? We're organisms! Yeah. So what are we cooking in? What are we bathing our pets in? What are we bathing our children in? What are we eating? What are we drinking? All in tap water. So it's very, very oxidizing. This one's what? Over 700 positive. So if it's positive, it's oxidizing. It's causing free radical damage. If it goes negative, then it's an antioxidant. It's that simple. Does anybody think Sprite is antioxidant? Just checking. You never know. You always get one. So where's the Sprite? terms of oxidation. Can we read those out, John? Six. Oh well, yeah, 600. Six, 600. Oxidizing. Very, very oxidizing. What about propel? A little less. 550. 550. Same as vitamin water. Vitamin water was recent, was uh, actually ran into some trouble because their bottles said that it was antioxidant at one mm. point. And then this is the Perrier. 480. 480. Really expensive stuff too. Now, how about Dasani? Some people call it dishonesty. Uh -huh. 450. 450. So oxidizing. Yeah. Causing free radical damage, causing oxidative stress. How about the Costco water? 420. 420. Positive. How about Voss? $12 a gallon. Hmm. Mm. 460. 460. It's going up. Yeah. It's going up. So, what are you paying for? Tap water we already saw was way up there. Now watch this very closely as we go to the Kangen water. Tell me what happens. Negative. Negative, huh? Yeah. Where are we at? Minus 400, 450. 450 and going down. Is there something different between this and the rest of them? Definitely. Would we agree? Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Let's go back one more time to tap water just to show that my meter isn't broken. Where are we at? 300. 300 positive. It's going up. Yeah. Let's get that on there. You see that? Over 300. We'll show the minus on there. And then we're going to go right to the Kangen water. Minus 420. Way negative. What I'm showing you is the world's most powerful bioavailable antioxidant, bar none. Green tea, for example, is a negative 50. Cod liver oil in its purest, rawest form. I know Joyce. You take your cod liver oil every single day, right? Yeah. It's about negative 75 to negative 100. What we're talking about is off the charts. If green tea is a negative 50 and tap water is a 700, wonder why we're not feeling the, di the difference from our good antioxidant green tea because we're taking good antioxidants and we're putting them in basically garbage. It just makes sense. So again, the amount of antioxidants you maintain in your body is proportional to how you live. Does it make sense? Absolutely. It makes perfect sense. And the third thing we're going to talk about is the pH. This is what everyone likes to see because it's colorful and it's very visual. However, what I just showed you is the most important. The hydrogen, the, heal, the healing properties of the hydrogen, the ability to reduce that oxidation and inflammation and stress within the body is hands down the most important but we want to balance pH too. We don't want to be putting things in our body that are acidic because what we're doing is we're causing our immune systems to work that much harder to balance it. 
So very simply, I can show you what the pH of all these different beverages are with some pH tester drops here. First, let's talk about the pH chart. If anyone's unfamiliar, it's very simple. It goes from 0 to 14. 0 is the most acidic. 14 is alkaline. Our blood, human blood, is 7.365. It's right in the middle, slightly alkaline. It's absolutely important that our bodies maintain that pH at all times in our blood. So your, 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 body, your immune system, your body is working around the clock, uh, balancing all the things that we do. We breathe air that's acidic. We eat acidic foods. We drink acidic beverages, as you're about to see. And our, so our body has an internal system for balancing that, but at what cost? It, we're robbing our, our body's ability to heal and do what it's really supposed to be doing, and that's keeping us healthy. Instead, we're forcing it to do all this other extra stuff. So let's take a look at where we're at here in terms of pH. The colors show up real, real bright. Sprite, Propel, Le Perrier, Dasani, Costco, Voss, that's a surprise, tap water, and then, of course, Kangen water. Five so we'll do, we'll do these one by one. Here's the Sprite. Are we acidic or alkaline? Acidic. We are extremely acidic. It's actually right about 2.5. Think about the pH chart as it's logarithmic, so 7 to 6. 6 is 10 times more acidic than 7, mm. which means 5 is 100 times more acidic than 7. 4 is 1,000 times more acidic than 7. 3 is 10,000 times more acidic, so on and so forth. What that means is that means that this is 50,000 times more acidic than our blood. 50,000 times more acidic. Same thing with the Propel and the Gatorade. It's just as acidic. But yet we're giving this to our kids by the gallon. What about the Perrier? This one surprised me too. The carbonic acid from the bubbles. The Sani. This one surprises everyone. Who ever knew the water could be acidic? But there's no life-giving properties in this. Remember, we've taken out all the good, but we've taken out the bad as well. We've taken out the calcium, the magnesium, the life-giving minerals that, that our bodies need. Costco water, people see that and they say, oh, well, that's alkaline, it's good for you. But remember why we added those ingredients, the, the salt and the baking soda. You could add all kinds of stuff to water to make it alkaline, you see? I could take a cigarette butt and put it in a glass of water and it will become alkaline. Do I want to drink it? I don't. You could put ammonia in water and it will become alkaline. Does that mean you want to drink it? No. So check your ingredients. Voss. It's barely neutral. It's barely neutral. We don't know how long it's been sitting in that bottle. And this is also a, a BPA bottle. So it's leaching everything that's in the plastic as well. And then tap water is also neutral. It's federally mandated. It must be neutral. The reason for this is because they've actually added lye to your tap water. Lye has a pH of 14. It raises the pH of the water. It makes sense. Because if we put this acidic Dasani water through our city pipes, what would happen? Rust. They would rust. So they want alkaline water going through the city pipes for the protection of this, their pipes, but not ours. There's 270 different chemicals in tap water. You can, you can, if you want to get with me afterwards, I can show you what's actually in our local tap water here, the Alderwood Water, water District. It's very eye-opening. You may not even want to know, but they're just putting more and more stuff. There's trace amounts of prescription drugs, lye, ammonia, pharmaceuticals, all kinds of stuff is in there. and you, anybody here of Flint, Michigan? Mm -hmm. So lead is a major epidemic. Even my own hometown, Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, they're having a major struggle now. They're having to boil their water. I remember when I was five years old, we had used to have to boil water constantly in the summertime. That just shouldn't be. And then we have Kangen water. Look at this. It's 9.5 pH, not because we've added anything to it. There's no chemicals that we've added to this. It's that pH because of the hydrogen, because of that healing hydrogen gas that's in it, because of its ability to heal, detoxify, and flush out acidic waste from our bodies. So when we drink Kangen water, we're able to stay in a state of balance. 
If I woke up this morning and I went to the gym and I worked out, I made myself more acidic. I can very easily balance that by drinking some water. And I always make a mess. <laughs> I breathed some air today. It's acidic. I made my body more acidic. I can balance it just that easily. I drove my car today. I sat in a little bit of traffic. Maybe had a little bit of stress. Acidity in the body. Wow. It's that simple to change. However, let's take a look at the, at the Perrier. Watch it closely. It tries to, but it can't. It's so acidic. What about the Propel? The Propel. It can't change it because it's so acidic. The Sprite. It can't change it because it's so acidic. In, in fact, in fact I, I drink at least a gallon and a half of Kangen water every single day. So it won't hurt me to have just one Sprite now, will it? Yeah, well. well. What about one sip? Only if there's vodka in it. Yeah. <laughs> one sip? Yeah, probably okay. Yeah. yeah. What about just one sip won't hurt me, right? Okay, so let's give it a try. Let's, this is one sip of diluted soda pop that we're going to just take and put a drop in there. Whoa. Look what happened. Whoa. Just the drop. Just the drop. Just the drop. And I'll hold this up. Just a drop. Just destroys everything in its path. So this is why we don't want to be giving this to kids. And remember back in the 40 years ago even, soda was, it, it was just something that you had occasionally. Now it's with every single meal. You can go into 7-Eleven and get a 64 ounce Big Gulp. 64 ounces. So, and you go to the movie theater, you're paying $12 or something ridiculous for a 32 ounce, and it costs them like a penny to make it. So it's really harmful stuff. What about this, with alcohol? With alcohol? Like scotch or how does it? It just, it depends. Beer, for example, beer has a pH, most beers have a pH of about 5.5. Mm -hmm. Unless you're drinking something like Coors, for example. Coors uses... In most of the Coors Miller Light, those high quantity beers, they, they use reverse osmosis water. So they're starting with very acidic water to begin with. And then the brewing process, so you're looking at maybe about a three pH. So that's why we use the water, balance. Yeah. Just balance. Just right. balance. Yeah, balance. Same thing with <laughs> wine, and wine is very acidic. But just yeah. do, it, do it in moderation. Have a glass of wine, have three or four glasses of Kangen water out. <laughs> So my partner, he drinks some scotch after dinner every night, or before dinner, actually. So um, he, he got colon cancer three years ago, so I'm thinking the water, the Kangen water would help him with, he needs help with hydration, so I mean, how would that help him get hydrated relating to the cancer? Would it? Well, as we showed you earlier with the tea, mm -hmm. you're getting more water into the cell, yeah. which is flushing out the acidic waste. Right and detoxifying so he's right. constantly it's like i said it's con it's like constantly rechanging the oil in your car right. <clears throat> pushing out the old putting fresh new in mm -hmm. and so your body's 100 let's say for a 200 pound person is about 150 pounds of water and so how long does it take to drink 150 pounds worth of water that's the amount of time that it takes you to replace all the old water in your body and get fresh in there and the more often you're changing the water in your body, the better for you, obviously. Yeah, yeah. That's why oftentimes when people first start drinking this, they, they notice that they detoxify a little bit. Everyone pees more. I don't care who you are. Everyone pees more because yeah. it's helping to flush out all that old waste in your body. It's a good thing. It's a really good thing. You want to be detoxified. Okay, so we're going to move on to the... There's five other different waters in addition. What we just talked about is just the drinking water. It's just a tiny little piece of the puzzle. This technology is able to take the process of electrolysis and make seven different grades of water, if you want to call it that. You could change the pH just by pressing a button. For example, you could have clean water, which is just neutral filtered water. It's perfect for taking your medication. If you lose power in your home, you could still get really good water without having to turn your power on. Beauty water. This is everyone's favorite. Because, yes? We lost electricity this last week. Mm -hmm. And you said the clean water doesn't have to have a machine to, to have clean water? 
No, you don't need power to run water through the machine and get good filtered water if your power's out. Really? Absolutely. Matter of fact, the other night our power was out and yeah. we weren't, yeah. we, we had planned ahead because it was flickering, so we ran a gallon, but even when it didn't, we knew we had clean water yeah. for as long as we needed. So. Yeah. And my girlfriend That's on good Mercer Island that. was out for two days and <clears throat> she had all the water she needed. Nobody on Mercer Island got a machine. Well, she just run it through the, you just turn the water on and run through the machine. Just turn it on. It'll run right through. It'll get filtered. It'll be cleaned out. Right on. Yeah, okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah. So the beauty water, this is actually my favorite, and just ask anyone that uses it. Ask, ask Joyce's son, Chris. I know you're out there, Chris. I think they're actually watching. Nice. <laughs> so Chris is our beauty water aficionado for Enagic, and this stuff is amazing. I'm going to pass this around. Spray it on one of your hands, let it air dry, and just wait a few minutes and feel the difference in your skin. But you use the beauty water for all kinds of stuff. You could use it for cleaning the glass in your home. For boiling, it'll boil faster, it'll absorb more flavor when you're cooking your pastas and your oatmeals. Obviously, for a toner for your face, ladies, uh, Dan has a client that told us that it that far outperforms the best thing that they sell at Nordstrom. Mm -hmm. So some people are paying 40 50 $60 for a little two ounce bottle of toner when you can make it at home. And it's, the it's amazing for your skin, the beauty water. Another product that you can make at home in unlimited quantities is hypochlorous acid. Hypochlorous acid is what they've been using in Japanese hospitals to sterilize operating equipment. It's what many restaurants today are using in food service for disinfecting and for cleaning in the kitchen, for preparing their food, for disinfecting their meats and shellfish and poultry even. What it is is it's a non-toxic form of leach. You could drink it. You won't want to but you could drink it if you had food poisoning and it won't harm you. You could put it on your skin for wound care. It's been used in hospitals for decades in wound care in different, different applications for skin conditions. My but sister the, has MRSA and sepsis because she just had a colonoscopy. Nobody will take her clothes home except me because I use this and it, I don't have to worry about getting it. Yeah. Yeah. It, Amazing. It is, it, it will kill, the kill rate is faster. So we have the results, we have results, lab results for what the, how this performs stacked up against different bleaches. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like, I can share those with you. It's approved by the FDA for hundreds of uses in the food service industry, so it's really, really powerful. And this is what Dan and I have been sharing with different restaurants in the Seattle area on ways that they can make their establishment green and clean, not reduce their chemical footprint and reduce the amount of chemicals that their that their food and their cooking is exposed to. So it's very, very powerful what you can do with that. And the other side of this is the, the strong alkaline water. Remember I said we're always making acidic and we're making alkaline waters together. While you're making that hypochlorous acid, you also make a super high pH water that's 11.5. Y'all are drinking 9.5 tonight. This is actually 100 times stronger than that. And this is what you're going to use to clean just about everything else in your home. Use the hypochlorous acid to disinfect, to clean your countertops, your knives, your cutting boards, your toilets. As I said, you could even spray fish with it prior to making sushi or spray your chicken with it. Kill all that bacteria so that it's safer for your family. You're going to use this to clean everything else. Use the 11.5 for doing your laundry, for washing your fruits and vegetables, which is what we're going to do right now. Here I have some cherry tomatoes that I picked up from Costco today. And what we're going to do is we're going to wash these as we would washing any other produce when we bring it home from the grocery store. Now what's the first thing you do when you bring your tomatoes or your cabbage or your lettuce or your vegetables home from the store before you eat it? Rinse them in tap water. There you go. You answered both of my questions. You've rinsed them in tap water. Now, why do we do that? We don't know. We're just creatures of habit. We've always done it. We keep on doing it. Kyle's laughing at me back there because I dropped the tomato on the floor and he didn't see it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I kicked it under the table, <laughs> thinking that nobody was going to see me, but of course. We all did. Busted by everyone. Okay. So we're going to take these tomatoes right here and we're going to wash these okay. in tap water, just like we always have. We're not thinking anything about it. We're creatures of habit. We just do what we do. We're going to take these other tomatoes and we are going to wash these in this strong alkaline 11.5 water that I just showed you. Now, 
All of those tomatoes are covered in oil-based herbicides, insecticides, and pesticides. Why are they oil-based? So it sticks. <clears throat> so it sticks. So that they're unaffected by the rain. The rain water isn't going to wash them off. The farmers don't have to go back out and respray them. They save money. We don't have to worry about the pesticides going into the groundwater and affecting ecosystems in fish. The fish are safe, but what about us? Because now those pesticides are locked on there. Because if they're oil-based, what do we know about water and oil? Doesn't matter. Doesn't mix. They don't mix. Here I have some pure sesame oil to simulate. We're going to take some sesame oil here and some sesame oil here. And we're going to take some tap water. Very simply, water and oil not mixing before your very eyes. You've all seen it a hundred times at least. Okay, so how do we think we're actually washing those tomatoes if we can't mix water and oil? We're not. We're not. So I can take this 11.5 water that I can drink. I can do something you've never seen before. I can mix water and oil. We just completely emulsified that sesame oil with water. So this is the best thing you're ever going to wash your clothes with. It's the best thing you're ever going to clean carpets with, stain remover, just everything. And it's the best thing you're going to ever come across well, to wash your, on that tomato on the ground. To, wa to wash your clothes. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Right. laughs> I'll, I'll be using it to clean the tomato stain out of Dan's carpet after you all leave tonight. Okay, so let's go back and let's check on our tomatoes. Here we have the tap water tomatoes. And I'm going to, I'm going to rinse these. Just going to give us a really good rinse here. And you can see that we didn't take anything off of those tomatoes. That water is clear. I'm going to hold them up here so that you can see. No. It's completely clear. Okay. Here I have, we'll call these our Kangen tomatoes. And I'm not even going to rinse them. I'm going to be fair. I'm just going to pour this water right off. And you can see what we took off of those tomatoes. Can you see that? You see that? We'll hold it up against this one. You think there's a difference? Yeah. I'm going to pass this around because you can actually stick your fingers in here and you can feel the oil on these pesticides. It's disgusting. So stick your fingers in there. Anybody want to take a drink of this? No. You never know. There's always one guy that will. Okay, so I'm also going to pass these tomatoes around. I'm going to pass the first batch around is the good Kangen tomatoes. I'm going to stick this, I'm going to stick this little wrapper in there so you know those are the good ones. So try a tomato. But if you try a Kangen tomato, you have to try a tap water tomato. That's just the rules. <laughs> and then you have to tell me if you notice the difference. Do we have any questions on this? Make sense? Okay, so we're going to keep moving on here because we're almost done. But remember the chlorine in the tap water that I shared with you earlier? So if you look up here, we have a chlorine test strip on this slide. You can see how much chlorine is really in that water. Not only are we not only are we drinking this, but we're also we're bathing in it, we're exposing our skin to it, we're exposing our children to it, our pets to it. And I always have people ask me, they say, well, Steve, I buy organics. I pay extra money for organic fruits and vegetables. That's awesome. Now, here's the thing. You pay extra money for organics that don't have chemicals when you're not even, you can't even be sure about that because, well, you could buy the organic food label nowadays. Mm -hmm. But you pay extra money so that you don't have the extra chemicals on your food. But then you bring it home and you wash it in what? You rinse it off in tap water. So you're taking all the chemicals that are in your tap water and putting it into your organic food. You might as well have just bought the cheap produce because you're still getting the chemicals. So I'm going to break this tomato open and I'm going to put it inside this chlorinated tap water here so that you can see what happens when you bathe, when you shower, when you wash your fruits and vegetables in the water. What happens is your body absorbs it very, very quickly. 
So that water was yellow, and look how quickly it clarifies. It just absorbed, that one little tomato absorbed all that chlorine in less than a second. So every time you shower, you're getting eight to 10 glasses worth of the chemicals that are in your tap water through your body's largest organ, your skin. We wonder why we're struggling with asthma. Because not only are you getting it in your skin, you're vaporizing the chlorine and it's sitting in the base of your lungs. You're getting it through your skin, it dries your skin. We have skin problems are rampant in America. I myself, hey, there's, there's your mess. Oh, yeah. <laughs> got a whole, oh, <laughs> I got a whole cup full of tomatoes on the floor now. So we have our Nespa technology. I can't say enough about this amazing product. It was life changing. I thought the water changed my life. When I started using this, I, I bought it just because I sell them. I'm like, you know, I sell these things. I should probably at least have one and learn how to use, learn a, a thing or two about it. So I didn't think it was going to make a difference until I took my first shower in. I was like, wow. For one thing, my skin didn't prune. Anybody notice that? You don't prune in the Inespa? Now let's think about that for a minute. Let's think about what pruning is. You go to a pool, you, you swim in the ocean, you, you sit in the bathtub too long, you take a shower, you begin to prune. What is that? What's happening? Dehydration. It's dehydration. Now think about that. How can I be dehydrated when I am literally immersed in water? It doesn't make sense. It's because of the chemicals that are in the water that are actually dehydrating us. So it's, it's an adverse effect. The Inespa, you don't have that. It's like taking a mineral, a, a mineral ion bath. It's like bathing in the Futamata hot springs of Japan because the, those are the same minerals that you're bathing in. We take pristine filtered water from your shower and then we're going to infuse food amount of minerals that are incredibly moisturizing. You, your hair will never be softer. Your skin will never be softer. And I swear I sleep better. And I was just in Can I went to Vancouver a couple weeks ago, two days without this thing. And I was itching. My skin was just itchy. It was burning. It was just an unpleasant experience when you're not used to showering in chlorine. And then you go back to being exposed to it very quickly. You don't realize how much of it you're exposed to. So this is an amazing technology. I recommend everyone have this. And for an extra $30 a month, it's a no-brainer on, on top of your SD501 or K8 water Steve, can you flip back to the, yeah, because a lot of people ask how you fill your bathtub with this. Can you just shower with it? So show them the little... Can you see the lever on there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's, there, you, can, you can use, it'll fill up a bathtub in about 15 minutes. Right. It'll do a hot tub in about 30 and for a shower, but I mean, it's amazing. And but you there's can, a lever that you have to turn. Yeah, yeah there, there, you just flip it. You just yeah. flip it and it'll do it. It'll, do it'll the divert the water from the shower to the shower. that little snake right there Correct. that you see. Yeah. <clears throat> but mm -hmm. I, I love it. I use it twice a day, morning and night, 15, 20 minutes each time. Because you're gonna want you're gonna want to take longer showers because it's relaxing. It's just de-stressing. You can use hot water. Oh, absolutely. The machine you can use hot water. Correct. So with the spa, you can use hot water. You can use hot water with this up to 170 degrees. So really, it's it's amazing. And then spas in Beverly Hills are using it. For example, Love 647, where the Kardashians get their hair done is using this because it makes that much of a difference in, in people's hair and skin. We're a green company. What we're doing is we're reducing the chemical footprint. We're also reducing the plastics that we're putting out into the, into the landfills and into the oceans. Because let's talk about the plastic for a minute. The recycling centers could only take on the high end, I'm being very generous saying, 30% of what you put out in the recycling bin is actually being recycled. The rest of it, it's going, in, it's going to landfills and more than likely it's going into the oceans because there's several vortexes out in the ocean that are half the size of Texas or bigger, three feet thick of plastic. Last time you went to the gym, what was the only thing you see in the garbage can at the gym? Plastic water bottles. So the plastics are rampant. We have nowhere to put them and we're absorbing all of that. And if you're buying bottled water, the reality is here's the numbers. If you're buying Dasani, then in 15 years, it's going to cost you $21,000. If you're buying Fiji water in those same 15 years, it's going to cost you almost $100,000. Hmm. 
and you have nothing to show for it. You're to pay this money year after year after year after year. Total 15 year cost for Kong and Water, 6,200 bucks. It's nothing. Plus the money you're gonna save by not buying bleaches, by not buying sanitizers, by not, not buying laundry detergent, veggie washes, Windex, Armor All. You don't need laundry detergent? No, no, no. You can use because you have, the best, you have the best emulsifier possible. I've been doing my laundry with Kong and Water for three and a half years. And it works, it works. It works. Talk to Kyle about the. How does that work? Because all laundry detergents are, are chemical emulsifiers. Yeah. There's actually no there's actually no soap when in laundry I turn soap. On my washing machine, the water comes out of the. Yeah, but then, then the will show you. You just you just dump a liter of this, half of one of these, in with your wa in with your laundry. It, it'll. Oh, two point five. Wow, wow. That's all it takes. Oh, that's, that's, all that's all it takes. Yeah. We can talk more about that after. So cost-wise, you're saving a lot of money. It's an investment. It's tax deductible. That's the greatest part. It's tax deductible. Anybody that needs tax deductions for 2017, this is the best time to do it. We can get. We, we have an in-house financing program that makes it very affordable, whether you have credit or not. If you have good credit, we can get you on a zero percent plan and finance for 21 months. We can get this down to about 40 bucks a month. At a spa, there's another 30 bucks. <coughs> And it's all write-off. And it's all write-off. It's all write-off. Why is it write-off? So, it's your own business. Yeah, we can address, we can address that afterwards. Mm -hmm. So we have a turmeric. The, the Ukon is amazing. We can talk about that in a separate conversation as well. But the idea is to get the full package. You want to be drinking the Kong and Water Fresh every single day. You want to be showering in the Ines Spa. You, you want to be staying away from the chlorine and all the chemicals. And, of course saving an awful lot of money. We have many different products to choose from. We have, we have travel units. We have a starter unit for every family, every budget. We have our SD501s. The, the Platinums are absolutely gorgeous. We have a machine for underneath the counter. We have our newest K8. Dan has one on his, on his counter tonight. We have commercial units for restaurants, hospitals, hotels, catering. Of course, the Ines Spa and then the Turmeric is absolutely amazing. We call it the Family True Health Plan. You wake up in the morning and you drink a big glass of Kangen water. You make your coffee. It's the best tasting coffee you'll ever make. And it'll, you'll use less coffee grounds for it, or tea, if you like loose leaf tea especially. And throughout the day, you're just drinking the best water. You're showering in the Ines Spa. You're taking the turmeric and just living a healthy lifestyle. That's what this is about. It's not about water, it's about a lifestyle. Because this will be the most used appliance in your home you're gonna you're gonna use it more than anything else, hands down. And it's gonna last you 20 to 25 years. And the truth is, people just don't want to part with them. We one of the questions we ask people is, if you if you had a fire in your home, what was the first thing you would replace if you were given that choice? What's the first thing you would grab when you're running out? We travel with these things. So many people stick a Kong and water machine in their carry-on suitcase when they're traveling because you don't want to be without it. So I challenge you, if you're here tonight, to first and foremost, try the water. Just be open to it. Open to something that may change your life. Because every single one of us that are here tonight, it has had a significant impact on our life. And then the second piece is share it with someone. Come back, see this again. because. Not only can you not unlearn what you learned tonight, but you're going to learn more. You can, I only expect you to take away about 1% of what I shared with you tonight, but there's so much more. And bring someone, share this with someone. And we're here every Wednesday. We want to help you. Like I said, I'm not here, we're not here to sell you anything tonight. We're, on, we're not here to, to convince you of anything. We're just here to give you some clues and help you understand what's out there. But it's the simplest thing you can do to change the overall picture of your health. It can save your pets too. Oh, oh, yes. Pets is a, yeah, that's a completely different conversation it because so many people with aging pets are seeing results, especially older dogs. Because remember, animals are the only species, animals drink their body weight naturally in water every day. Humans are the only species that we have to be reminded to drink our water. So pets are gonna see results oftentimes before we even do. <coughs> So you're right, it's very powerful for your pets. Mm -hmm. So I encourage you to see this again. If you have any questions, 
feel free to ask. Uh, for the people out on Facebook, please message Dan or myself or anyone that's tagged in this post. This information is so valuable. We, we're trying to get it out there to the world because everyone deserves this. That's the reality. It's not that you need it. It's that you just deserve it for you and your family. Everybody, if we could give Steve a round of applause. Thank you for... Thank you.